In Next.js 13, we can use the router for Next Navigation to push to some pages, or we can use the link component from React to create links directly inside our application. Previously, we created a folder uh, profile, and in this folder profile, actually, we got a page with some links that lead us to other pages. As we see here, it's a list of elements that I've been using with an on-click event handler that I got here, and I push to some pages this way. However, there is another way to create links. We can use the link component of React. Take a look at my code. I have a list here, and in this list, I got my elements. And actually, I don't want to use this on click here. I would like to have links. So if I would be in HTML, what I would do is to come back here and put a link, an anchor here, and I would put my href and my link, all right? Instead of doing this, I can use the link component from React. And here, we got on the top the import that is automatically done. We import link from next link. Remember, we imported router from next navigation. This is something that changed with Next.js 13, right? And we can still use the link element. Okay, so here I got my link, and if I come back here, we see that I got an error because I need to pass, of course, an href, which is supposed to be a string or an object, of course. So here on my link, I should put actually the href to here and we've got slash profile and slash number one, okay? So when I come back here, we see the difference. If I look at it, I got suddenly my link that I've been replaced by an anchor. This is because link, it's a React component that is actually using the anchor uh, um, tag element from HTML replaced immediately into my application. So when I click to it here, it does exactly the same thing as my previous um, uh, function that I've been using on the onclick, that was router push. But here the difference is that we have a different behavior. Here I got directly a link. So what I could do down there instead, it's using this link all the time. So I'm going to replace all of this. And instead of having this href, what I can do is to immediately change it to just push my, uh, actually my um, string URL, which is the uh, profile that we got in here. So basically I'm able actually to remove these elements and I got my free profile page in here. Okay, so this is the first thing here, we've got the link. But what's the difference with the onclick? Well, there's not a huge difference between them. The big difference here is that my link component, which is here, is natively coming from Next.js and by extension, React. It means that I don't have to do all the code, which is use router, push, etc., etc. all my check. I can use directly link to say, hey, here, this is going to be a link. And immediately inside my application, my link will be replaced by an anchor. So I respect, actually, the way of using HTML in a way, that's the first thing, because if you put a click on a div, all right, the a div has not necessarily been made to being by nature a link, an href anchor, all right? Here we got directly uh, an anchor, which is an href using uh, actually the link component from Next.js. So why to use the React router link? Well, actually we would use the router link for several reasons. The main reason would be that we want to handle the navigation state by using the router of Next.js itself. Um, if you want to create anchors inside your application, it's better that you use them for absolute pass. If you want to make anchor to local pages of the in-app, actually where you are working on and where the client is going to navigate to, you better use the link component because it's directly linked to the UI and the current state of your application. So to avoid problems depending on the state and depending on the navigation of the user inside your current application, please use the link component. Say I would have an external URL. What I would do is to use a href, okay? So let's say that I want to do to https slash codewithguillaume.com, okay? Here I'm going to put codewithguillaume's website, 
Okay, school online, it's better. School online, I would save this. Here, what I would do is to have actually an anchor inside my code. However, which is tricky to understand and, and to see the difference. The thing is that here on my code, we see that we've got exactly the same schema. It's the same anchor with an href and, and, and it's doing actually basically the same. The difference is that my uh, link to my school online is leading directly to my um, uh, external link. But here, my link, which is profile free, so here I'm, I'm coming back, profile free, it's leading inside my app, okay? So there's a major difference. When you want to use uh, a link directly to target a page inside your app, please use link. Another question that I had is that, can I wrap, for instance, can I wrap a division in here and let's say that I would have a, a big um, square where I got some text, okay? And let's say that I would like to put an image, to put some style, would it work? Well, actually, it would work perfectly. Let's say that here you would have inside this link some elements that you would like to pass, okay? You would like to pass, for instance, uh, like a query, okay? So to do this, it's really simple. What you gotta do is just to pass the elements that you want inside your href in here, okay? So here I'm going to open double curly brackets and I gotta pass the pass name. So here we got slash profile and here it's number three. And let's say that just after this, you would like to pass a query. And let's say that here is going to be a, a username. Okay, let's put a username. And here it's going to be a Guillaume. And here I'm going to save this. All right. So I'm going to come back in here. And I'm going to click on my big element. And we see here on the URL, so I'm going to, to, to move a little bit. We see here on the URL that I got my query as a username. Another thing that could be very boring is that when you click on an element, it scrolls to the top of the page, okay? And probably you don't want to do that. It's just something that you can find on the documentation. It's really easy to do. You can pass the scroll here and you can pass to true to false. By default, it's on true. Another thing that is basic with link is that by default, you are going to prefetch the data from the page where you, got, you are going to. Let me explain that. We didn't saw that yet, but there are several ways to render an XGS application. The most used is the client side rendering. Okay, so basically, most of you will use an XGS with the client side rendering, and you would like actually to prefetch the data. Actually, you would like to prefetch it on the background, which means that on the page you are going to go, probably there is data to prefetch. So. What you have by default is the prefetch here that is on true, which means that when I'm gonna go to this page, if I got some data to fetch, it's going to prefetch. Otherwise, for some reason, if you want to disable it, you can pass prefetch on false. Last thing to say about prefetch, uh, if you try to test it on local production, it will not work. Actually, it's going to work only on production. Prefetching here is available only on production. In conclusion, we use link to create dynamic link inside the app and to respect the life cycle of Next.js. And for external link, we use the basic anchor of HTML.